Welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I'm recording this at a different time, actually, um, which is well, I feel, feels a bit strange. Um, we're going to be tackling, um, a, well, sort of a debut today um, for the constructor Pack Attack 25. But this is a collaboration puzzle on the screen. It's called Sub Zero Two, and it's, it's a collaboration between Pack Attack 25 and Schwupel, who I have done puzzles by before. Um, and this one has, I think it's a very new puzzle. But we've had lots of recommendations to try this and I, I read the rules of it and I thought oh yes that that really is a clever idea um it's a it's a combination of yin yang and thermometers and you may be looking at these thermometers thinking hang on a minute these look a little bit long to be sudoku thermometers where normally the digits have to increase from the bulb end well they do have to increase from the bulb end in this puzzle but the digits can be negative as well. <laughs> so that is the twist. It's got a whopping high rating on Logic Masters Germany. Um, so we're going to try this in a moment or two's time. Now I've got loads of things to tell you about today, some of which I think is quite interesting. Um, we're Well, this, this Friday is the 1st of September, which means it's reward day uh, if you're a patron of the channel. Uh, patron of the channel over on Patreon. So we have a brand new Sudoku hunt in, in coming. Um, it's going to be called Lines and Shapes for a couple of reasons. Um, our Lines Sudoku app is nearly ready. I know it's been a long time in the making. Some of the constructors out there, we, I mean, we have got some of the great and the good of the Sudoku community who've made puzzles for this app, Vista Mafel, Zeta Math, the Codec. I mean, um, I, I, I couldn't list them all because it would, it would take a long time. Um, but the, 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 there are a lot of amazing puzzles in this app. Um, so we're, we're sort of, uh, we're sort of hinting that that's on its way. Uh, and the reason it's called Shapes is because, um, well, we've worked with uh, uh, one of our designers has made a new piece of merch that we're going to have as a prize and that piece of merch is based off the CTC hexagon so it's it's sort of it's, it's quite a cool looking cap I mean even if you don't like cracking the cryptic you could you could wear that it's sort of like you're a member of the secret society you, you've got to be in the know to know what that little symbol means um, uh, on the cap so um, that is going to be a brand new piece of merch we're going to have as a prize so yeah we thought we thought that might be a, a cool idea um, and um, yeah, that's what else can I tell you about that? I think the mer I think Mark is planning to make the merch available. Mark 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 looks after the merch over on Spring, um, and I think we are planning to make that available. So if you if you look at it and think, well, I'm never going to win the prize, um, you might still be able to get it. I think. Um, now I need to say thank you to Zony Music, who has been watching the channel for a long time and enjoying it and knows a thing or two about me. They, they, Zony Music knows that I like um, I like StarCraft 2. I really, really love StarCraft 2. I was once obsessed with it, um, re really quite badly obsessed with it. And Zony Music um, has con sort of composed um, a version of our intro that, that combines the Terran theme from StarCraft 2, the game, with our normal Mozart intro. And this is, this is it, so get ready. I mean, that is pretty cool. That is Zony Music playing the violin on that as well. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So I, I love it when we get sent things like that. So thank you very much, Zony Music. Much, I'm very impressed. Um, and then I've got some birthdays to do today as well. So Colin, Colin, you've turned 27 today. And I know this because your friend, Sa I think it's Sarah. I never know when, when the name is S-A-R-A, -A, whether, whether it's Sarah or Sarah, because I've seen it pronounced both ways in my life. Uh, but I'm going to say Sarah um, uh, wrote to us and said you'd appreciate a shout out. Apparently Colin you've been watching since we had 20,000 subscribers. That feels that feels a long time ago now. Uh, we are closing in on 550,000 believe it or not. I, I, I mean it's, it's it beggars belief. Um, now Colin the only thing is you don't like chocolate apparently so your, your birthday is going to well the celebration is going to be cheesecake 
and an evening of darts and drinks. Well, there, there can be few better evenings than that, my friend. So have a great birthday and enjoy yourself. Um, next, Missia. Missia, you've turned 20. And I know this because your best friend, I think it's Sizia. It could be Sissia, but I think it's Sizia uh, wrote to us. Um, and apparently you are getting chocolate cake, Missia. So enjoy that. And uh, Sizia described you as well, it described you, Missia, as our number one fan, and um, said that she was your was was our number two fan. So we've got the number one and number two fans of Cracking the Cryptic, um, hopefully watching and celebrating a birthday together today. Um, so thank you for writing, Sycia, and happy birthday, Missia. Um, and then finally, Terry, over there in Pennsylvania. Um, you've turned the big 5-0 today, and I know this because your husband Ra Rusty wrote to us, um, and I know the two of you have just taken your son Josh over to college um, for the first time, and I guess that leaves a hole in the household, um, and it might be a bit sad. So Rusty said, Terry, that you might appreciate a shout out, might, might, might brighten your day. I hope it does. And I believe there is going to be chocolate cake for you, Terry, as well. So it's not all bad and have a fantastic birthday. Uh, and that's everything. That is all the news. So now, oh, what on earth did I press there? How can we, I don't want to do this. How can we help? Go away, Google Chrome. I must have pressed, did I press F1 or something? Um, well, now we're going to have a look at Sub-02 by Pack Attack 25 and Shwoople. Um and these are the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rule supplies. We have to put the digits one to nine in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box once each. Now, each cell in the grid has to be marked either hot or cold, such that one, all the hot cells form a single orthogonally connected region. Um, two, all the cold cells form a single orthogonally connected region. And three, no two by two area is entirely hot or cold. So this is a constraint sometimes called yin yang. Have I got the right glasses on? I'm, I'm looking at these, the, the letters on my screen. I'm thinking I can't read them properly. Right, hang on. Now, now, now I won't be able to scan at all, but I will be able to read. Um, the, um, yeah, so this is yin yang. So I, I typically do an example of this that looks something like, um, something like this. This would be, let's make those hot, we'll make them sunny. Um, and we'll make these cold and make them blue. Boom. So that is, I think, a legitimate way of dividing the grid. Um, because you can see, if you look at the blue area as a, as a unit, all of the cells are connected orthogonally to one another. And connected orthogonally means sharing an edge. So imagine we, we added that one in. You can see this is definitely not part of an orthogonally connected blue blue area because although these two two cells and these two cells touch they only touch at a point they don't share an edge and therefore that's not going to obey the rules and you can see all the orange shell cells um, have the same property and we didn't have any two by twos of one color there either so that's that's how the yin yang works but this this next rule is beautiful values on a thermometer must be increasing from the bulb to the tip and cold cells on a thermometer are considered to be negative values. Isn't that, it's a beautiful idea. So, uh, so, so I think what that does is it sort of reverses for the, for the section of any thermometer that is cold. I think it almost reverses the thermometer because what I'm thinking is like, nine in a cold cell would have the value of minus nine, which would be more cold than minus eight. And therefore nine would have to come before eight on the thermometer if they were cold cells, if you see what I mean, which is bonkers. It's going to completely play with our heads. And that is never, that's never a bad thing. These, the forcing your mind to take new paths and do and think new thoughts is the way to stay young. Trust me. Um, don't look at my face when, when I say, trust me, uh, it's good for your brain. Anyway, the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual, but now I get to play. Let's tackle sub zero two. Let's get cracking. Um, now, okay. Now, before we get started, actually, I'm going to share some secrets. There are some secrets of yin yang, 
which are normally important. So the first secret is that in yin yang you can't you can't have a checkerboard pattern, um, and that's because of this requirement that both colours are orthogonally connected to one another. And you can see if you did have a checkerboard anywhere in the grid, and then we tried to connect the two oranges together, it wouldn't matter what path we took to do that, whether we went that way. If we went that way, this blue can't connect orthogonally to this blue because it's been it's been circled by a lake of orange. And if we went the other way, obviously it would be this blue that got circled by a lake of orange. So you can't have a checkerboard. That's the number one. That's the number one thing. But that leads to some interesting properties about the perimeter which is normally how these hybrid puzzles start. So the perimeter can actually only be in a yin-yang puzzle. It can either be all one color, or it can be divided into a stretch of one color and a stretch of the other color. But that's it. What you can't do is something like, uh, let's introduce, let's introduce another change of color in the perimeter and think about why that won't work. Well, and the reason it doesn't work is you can see I've got to orthogonally connect the two blue areas together. And however I do that, I'm going to isolate this orange from this orange. So it's like a big checkerboard if we do that. Um, so that's not going to work. So what we what we have to do is either have the, the, the perimeter all one color. That, that's fine. Um, or you could have one change of color. Like let's make those blue. That's fine. But that's it. You can't introduce any naughty blues down here now because that will really that will really bust the puzzle open. So those are two things that normally we have to think about with yin yang. Are there any other tricks of yin yang I need to tell you about? I don't. Oh, if I if I remember them, I will let you know. But let's count the length of these thermometers now. We've got some massive thermometers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's rotten. <laughs> I, was, I thought that looked far longer than nine. I was about to say that, that that we had to have some cold cells on this, but we don't. This could be a totally, that would be quite funny if it was a totally normal thermometer and just went one to nine, one, two, three, four, five. Is there some reason it can't do that? Mm, don't know. Um, let's check the length of this one. This is probably going to be nine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, okay, this one is longer. This, that one is 11. So there is no way you can start with a hot digit here because we'll run out of digits. If we start with a hot digit, we'll go, we'll, we'll get to there, was it there, with a nine, and then that will have to be a 10 and an 11. So that's not right. So that's cold. That is definitely cold. And I, I want to say the other side of it must be hot. Why does that? That must be true. Because if the, even if we had the maximum number of cold cells on the thermometer, we went minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, that would still be hot. So in fact, both of those must be hot. Oh, and probably both of those must be cold. Is that the, is that the corollary? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, the, both of these have to be cold. Sorry, I should have appreciated that immediately. Now that's very... Oh, no. Beautiful. We're, we're away immediately. I was about to say that's very annoying, but it's actually not. Although I don't quite know what it means yet. Okay, so what, I, what I've seen here... I'm looking at those three cells and I'm asking, is it possible they're all hot? And the answer is clearly no, because that will create a two by two of hotliness, which is most certainly not allowed. So I know that one of those cells at least is blue. And therefore, whichever one of these is blue is going to cause the outside of the grid to have to sort of revolve around so, so imagine that cell was blue. We would then know either the perimeter, all of those cells were blue, or all of these cells were blue, or both, I suppose. Um, right. So what I really need to do is I need to get a hot cell on the thermometer, on, on the edge. Because if I can get a hot cell here or here, for example, then I would know which way the blue went around the perimeter. I mean, it's so likely that this is hot. 
If that's cold, it has to be minus one. It has to be one cold, which would be minus. And then I still wouldn't actually know which way this went, because it could, could go all around the top. Or it could go that way. Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay, so I've missed. I'm missing something here. I'm not. I'm not appreciating something obvious. Oh, I think it's obvious. I think this puzzle had three stars out of five for difficulty, so it's probably not awfully hard. There's another thing I can see, for what it's worth. Oh, which is nothing. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I see. I, I see something that makes this puzzle much harder. OK, because what I was about to say, which is true, is that these two digits can't can't repeat on this thermometer. Let me just check the length of this one. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a seven cell thermometer. Yeah. OK, so. So I was tempted to say that that must be a nine cell region because normally on thermometers, of course, these digits would all be different. But here that's not the case, I don't think, because imagine if that was cold and that was hot, then they could be the same number. If that's, my, if that's three and that's three, but that's minus three and that's positive three, four, I might have got the number wrong. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, that could, that could work. So this isn't an extra region. And that thought has just confused me further. There's no, there's no two by two. I'm just trying to, I don't think there is, but I was wondering whether there's a two by two formed. I mean, those, those have to not all be the same color though. Oh, oh, actually, right. I, I was about to say, well, this has to not all be the same color, but there's, there's actually a bigger bigger implication of this. Ah, ah, okay, let's look at those two cells. Is it possible they're both cold cells? No, if these are both cold, that's a two by two of cold. So at least one of these is hot. And whether it's this one or this one, this one is always hot. So the end of this thermometer is hot. Aha, and now we are away. Now we're away. Because now we can come back down here, noting one of these at least is is cold and say, how does the cold here connect to the cold here, given that the perimeter can only be two colors? Well, all of these have to be cold all the way to to there. And in fact, one of these must be cold. Otherwise, we've got a two by two. So that so those two are both cold as well. Oh, right. So it's not right. I've got to think about this more carefully. It's actually about, oh, look, that's going to be a two by two of coldliness unless we make that hot. So, so what we really need now is to find a hot digit down here because that will allow us to put hot or, oh, well, it's very likely that's hot. those two oh, yes yes <laughs> this is so weird <laughs> one of these must be hot because otherwise you've got a two by two of blue so let's say it's that one which is the latest that the hot could appear that means the rest of that thermometer is hot which means that's cold that's cold here we go which which is beautiful because now that's hot to avoid a two by two isn't this clever this is very clever it's really very clever. Um, OK, now that's cold. <laughs> I love this <laughs> because look at these two squares now that if these are both, if this is all hot, then that's a two by two. So at least one of these is cold, which means that must be cold. Um, now, if at least one of these is cold, the furthest up the cold could be is that. So these these two are definitely cold. That's the minimum we can get away with. Oh, have I got any checkerboards? Yes, <laughs> there's a checkerboard possibility here. So that's got to be hot, which means this is cold. 
to avoid a 2x2 two two there. It looks like we're trying to have a checkerboard there, doesn't it? Those two can't both be hot. So at least one of those is cold. If that's cold, that's not surprising, is it? Actually, a bulb being cold is about as good as you... Is, is, is a very, it's like a, a one on a thermometer in a way. Which, because actually nor, the normal, because there are two secrets about thermometers I normally share, which is that one can only go in the bulb of the thermo and nine can only be, go in the tip of the thermo. That's not true here at all. You could put a nine in a bulb. Because if you put a nine in the bulb and it's cold, it would be the most negative number. It could be the coldest number that's ever existed in a Sudoku. Um, so it's fine. Uh, right, so what on earth do we do now? Ah, surely that... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can't be that big a number. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. The maximum size of that is three. Because if, it, if, it, if it's four, then this is going to be a ten. So that is a one, two, or a three. Which is so weird, because it's like the fifth cell along the thermometer. Um, oh dear. Now I'm confused. What I what I what do I want to do here? What do I expect the puzzle? I expect that to be hot. But it's not going to do that much if that's hot. It's not filling in very much. Um, I don't know what to do. I am not sure. I mean, if that's cold, if that's cold, it's minus one. Is there some reason that can't be minus one? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I might be wrong. I've, I've no, I've no real feel for how I'm meant to do this. Is there some way we can? I mean, I can see one of these is hot. Oh, ah, yeah. Here we go. Here's a point. See this two by two. If that's... Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It works. I was thinking I could, I could stop this being hot. Oh, hang on. That can't be hot. Because if that's hot, the whole of that... That, that does cause... The, ori the original way that my thinking was, was to think that this couldn't all be hot. Now, the weird thing about my brain is... It didn't tell me when I thought about that, that that stopped that being hot. Isn't that so stupid of me? I can't. I mean, that's just unforgivable. Brain, you and I are going to have to have a conversation about your your ineptitude. What are you thinking about? It's co totally obvious. If that's hot, that just creates a two by two. So that's got to be cold. Which means that's hot to avoid. Oh, this is good. This is good, though. That's got to be hot to avoid a two by two there. And now that means that's hot. And now what's going on on this thermo? I think we've got nine hot cells. I'm gonna check that. We do. So we can fill in, we can fill in a load of digits. Whee! Boom, ah, well, lost my army. Sorry, uh, sorry, Starcraft fans. Um, okay, that's got to be cold because um, Otherwise, that's a two by two, and that cold cell then has to get out. So both of those become cold. Oh, <laughs> Bobbin's, Bobbin's face. Um, I don't, again, okay, I'm stuck again, frankly. I don't know what to do. Um, if... If that's minus, minus two, minus three, minus... Oh, there you go. Okay, I can now prove that's hot by Sudoku. Because um, remember that if this nine cell thermo was entirely cold, we know it We know it runs backwards the whole way, uh, the whole of its duration. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. But that four would clash there. So that is hot. 
definitely, which means that's hot definitely, oh, which doesn't do anything. Can I actually, can I, can I find more clashes that are possible with these digits that I know? It's, let me think about that. Yeah, you see, one interesting thing I've just thought of, if I can prove that's hot, then that's cold by two by two, and that fills the perimeter. So why, let's think about whether that could be cold then. If this is cold, we have to go backwards, don't we? So we have to go nine, eight, seven. We, there's going to be degrees of freedom here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, two. It doesn't work. That's so clever. This three, four pair is very difficult actually. What, so let me just show you this in longhand. If I, if I make all of those blue, then this is in effect an eight cell thermometer. But right where we need the low digits here, they're knocked off the, they're knocked off the possibility. So this could be nine or eight. This is eight or seven. This is seven or six. In fact, let's, let's do really do it longhand so we can, we can exactly see what's going on here. Oh, that, well, that does it. In fact, that's really obvious. Look, that square has to be a three or a four to exist if if we are if we are in this world and it can be neither so there we go we've done it we've done it we've done we've had an epiphany so let's what we can say now is that this square has to be hot and that's what i was hoping because now that's cold and how do i connect this cold around the perimeter the whole perimeter turns cold this turns hot to avoid a two by two in the corner. Hot on the tip of a thermo is not a surprise. That's got to get out. Um, so now, now probably is the, probably a way of avoid, avoiding this being cold as well. Let me just think about this for a second or two. Um, Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be a, a seven cell backward thermo. Two, three, two, three. That could be, that could be one, two, five, six, seven. Ah, no, it can work. It can work because you can go one, two, three, not three, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, are there any clashes there? I don't think there are. So it is possible at this juncture for that to be blue, which is very surprising. Therefore, it probably is blue. That would make that hot. Two, oh, where, uh, Sudoku, where's two in column three? It's got to go there. So what are these top squares? These top squares are a three, nine pair. Now, is that, is that difficult with a blue thingy here? It probably... probably isn't i don't know <laughs> it's so strange to think about if that's a nine there's actually loads of flexibility isn't there if that's a three it gets tricky because you've got to go three two one and then that has to be hot three two one ted rogers <laughs> That's a blast from the past. Not many of you will get that reference. Um, that would be useful if I could prove that was a three. I don't know how to do that. Um, all right. What, what do we do now then? Nine is in one of those squares. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Can you put nine? No. Okay. Here is a new secret. Oh. Oh. In fact, this is obvious. I didn't even need to do this. What colour is that? I just realised. What I was thinking about is could I put nine um, partially along a cold thermometer? But of course, 
No is the answer because then that that will have to be cold, and that's the simple implication. That needs to be that needs to be blue. This new rule. This is a fantastic new rule. Oh look what's happened now. That's got to be hot to avoid a two by two. That hot has to get out, but now I've also got to avoid a checkerboard there. So that turns cold, which means that's hot to avoid a two by two. Whoa. Um, and now I'm staring at this, trying to see what that means. I don't know if I know what that means. I'm going to come back to it though. Nine can't go there because that would have to be minus 10. So nine is up there, nine is over here. It's probably the same with eight. If you put eight there, yeah, if you put eight on a cold th bit of thermometer, you've got to put, and you've got a bulb, you've got to put, that's got to be minus nine or more negative, or well, more negative is not Sudokuable, and minus nine doesn't work because there's a nine here. So there is a nine eight in these squares, and there's an eight down here. So, okay, that, that's interesting from the seven's perspective because the seven can't go here because that would be minus eight or minus nine and the seven can't go here by Sudoku. So the seven is in one of those and that gives me a seven, eight, nine triple in box nine. Now that can be minus seven because that's absolutely fine. That just allows this to flow up naturally in the most unnatural way but if this is seven eight nine and that's hot but the problem is if that's hot that could be a one if these two are both cold and they could have any old value this is very strange <laughs> it's very strange indeed um we do now would it be helpful to know it would uh, be the only way it would be helpful to know that digit is if it was blue because if it was blue that would have to be a nine um both of those are blue that has to be hot to avoid a two two by two i think that's okay if both of those are blue that has to be hot and that would be blue but again i'm trying to i'm sorry and i know i know it must be frustrating when i can't see what to do but I, I'm, what i'm trying to do is to pinpoint some cell in the puzzle where there is where there's a weakness. I'm not doing a very good job of it. I I don't really if that what about if that wasn't if I could prove that wasn't nine or eight, would that be a sensible thing to prove? Then that could be a maximum of minus six. Minus six, minus five, minus four. Then we'd have to go minus two, minus one, and both of those would be hot, and that would make that hot and that cold. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible or not. It looks very possible to me. Um, good grief. I mean, where, where, where on earth am I meant to look here? Is this... I don't know. I am. I am absolutely baffled by this. This area has to get out. One of those has to be hot. Oh, OK. OK, I can do one more thing. One more thing that this one is not cold. Well, no, that no, that is true. That that has to be hot, I think, because if that was cold, both of those would be cold. And now 
I don't think I can get this left hand area out because that could be hot but it's, it can't pass through the sort of the, the sea of blue that, we, that we've created a wall of blue so that has to be hot that's huge because if that's hot these are all hot and now we can avoid a checkerboard here so that's got to be hot this blue has to get out here you go here we go this is a sensational puzzle by the way pack attack 25 and shwoople this is a sensational idea oh this is this is mighty that's now can't be three because three two one and that would have to be some number like minus a half and that doesn't exist so that's got to be nine that's got to be three um but that takes all the pressure off doesn't it because now now it really doesn't matter um or is there is there some point about nine now in this box is that a point nine nine is not there by sudoku nine can't be cold anymore because nine's appeared in cold nine can't be halfway up a hot bit of a thermometer because then we'd have to have 10 or 11 in the tips so nine is in one of those squares which means nine is not here there is there is a tiny point about it it's almost very cool well yes yeah no 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 <laughs> i was about to say that can't be nine because it's on a bulb that's totally and utterly not true in this puzzle oh yeah bobbins bobbins um <laughs> okay ah all right but surely this digit right let's let's look at this thermo now which has suddenly got a bit more impetus hasn't it because that can't be a massive number now. If that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's not five. So it's one or two. There you go, that's massive. It's one or two. The next digit is two or maybe five, six, seven, yeah, two or five, that's a, sh that's a shame. The next digit is five or six six or seven seven or eight eight or no oh, look it's done it's done right this nine is forcing this to be eight which makes that seven that six that five now this is two this is one and that's cold that is so clever and now how do you get this funny area out you've got to go through one one you've got a tiny little aisle to go through oh this is this is so clever this puzzle it is beautiful Um, that digit is very nearly naked that's an eight or a nine it sees one two three four five in its row it sees six seven in its column <laughs> uh, one in box two it says it's going to, there's going to be some weird restriction on where this can go um or is there one can't go halfway up a hot bit of a thermometer can one go i, I can't work this out in my head i'm going to put the, put the pencil marks in and think about it ah one can't go there because that's in the middle of a cold strip of the of the thermometer so we, yes okay so i've got to get this into my brain when we have ones and nines on strips of the th thermometer of the same color I can then apply logic to them and say they can't live in the middle of strips of this of the same color but if this was a one that's a strip of the same color but it's the tip of the strip. yes yeah, so that could be minus anything and that would be lower so that's fine to be for that to be a one um, it's not fine for this to be a one it's not fine for this to be a one can that be a one possibly bother um oh dear oh dear oh dear come on simon oh there is an eight nine pair i've just discovered in this column so these squares i'm, I'm, I'm going to go full good live on this this is confusing um normally i would never do that by the way because it i i, I am very susceptible to overload of information but 
I'm feeling a bit lost with this. All of my principles of thermometers are, thro are thrown out of the window by this puzzle. Um, what does this mean? I don't know. Do I have to? That's seven, eight, or nine. It can't be six. Six, seven, or nine. Ah, sorry. Okay, I'm stuck again now. Um, what should we look at? Uh, that digit. Although, oh, no, it's going to be that digit. I can inst it's funny how I could instantly see it once I, once I found the right place to look. That's the sign of a cool, a very well-constructed puzzle as well. Because the moment my, my thought process is alighted on this square, I can instantly see it's restricted. So it's entirely my fault that I've not got to this point more quickly. It's not about casting around. It's, it's not about writing in one, two, three, four, five quintuples in column eight. It's about just focusing on that square and noticing it sees five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's low. It's one, two, three, or four. But it's it's got to have two lower digits. In fact, in fact, look, it's got to have two lower digits. I hadn't realised that this square can't be a one. So that's got to be a four. That's got to be a three, and that's got to be a two. And that that's forced some things. So two is in one of those squares now. Now, can you put two in the bulb of this thermometer? The answer to that is no. If that's minus two, that can be minus one. But what's that? That needs to be minus something. It can't be anything. So that's not two, which means that's two, which means this, this is nine. This is eight by pencil marking. Eight. Oh, sh well, surely we can place. Yes, look, eight has to be on this thermometer. So it must be next to the nine. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. So eight is in one of these two squares. Um, that's not two. I don't really want to. I don't want to look at this quintuple. I, I don't think it's going to be necessary. I think we've just got to. I've just got to have sensible thoughts about. What, um, Come on, <laughs> have sensible thoughts. <laughs> Stop looking at the quintuple. Uh, um, that's not eight. Um, three has to be in one of those squares. That's not information overload, is it? Okay, this digit, it could be... Now, which way around is it? That, yeah, this is going backwards, isn't it? So that's, that's a higher digit. Than that this is a higher digit so this can be se uh, seven it can be seven six five can't be three or four could it be it can't be two so that is five six or seven okay I didn't think it was going but that digit then just has to be lower than this one and they those options include one okay that's this isn't this is again this doesn't feel like the right place to look does it that digit is six seven or nine same as this so there's a six seven nine eight can be in two positions though in row four do you think do you think we're going to have to do oh two that's a two. That's simple enough, isn't it? So two is two is placed in this box. Does that do anything for us? Five in this top box is now in one of those two squares. Five can't go there. So five is in one of these two cells. Is that helpful? Don't know. Maybe. Um, We've only got two piddly little thermometers left to think about. Um, I wonder how Mark would approach this puzzle, actually, because it, it, I think he would hate it. 
I think he would hate it because it would it would blow apart his ability to pencil mark thermometers. <laughs> oh, two, oh no! I thought I got a two then. Two's in one of those cells. That was nearly good. Uh, that's got to be. Like, these can be anything. They just have to be. Yeah, I don't think that this is. Again, I just it just feels like this is not the place to look. One, five, six, and seven in the top row. Oh, where, where, where's one in the top row? That's a good question. It's got to go there. And that is hopeless. Well, it, play, it, no, it doesn't do anything, I don't think. It, it puts one in one of those two, but one can be in the tip of a cold thermometer. Six is in one of those two positions. But six in a cold thermometer bulb is fine when it's beneath a one. <laughs> Eight goes there by Sudoku. Okay, so, so we do some Sudoku now. Eight in this row has got to go here, which means that we get nine, seven, eight at the bottom of the grid. Come on. Seven is in one of those two squares. If we knew that was seven, would we know what the colour it was? It could be a hot seven, I think. It's very unlikely to be a cold seven unless that's cold nine, which it can't be. So we we would, if we knew that was seven, we would know the colour of this square and it would be useful. Um, that feels like it's almost, that really does feel like it almost matters, doesn't it? It does to me anyway. 3 has the opportunity to be in the corner down here by Sudoku. What do we need in this box then? We need 4, 5s, 6s and 7s. Can we do anything with that? For I don't think we can. 4, 5, 6 and 7. Those are not 4. Those are not 7. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> um... Threes? Ones? Oh dear, dear, dear. Come on, Simon. What is it? Is there... Is there balm in Gilead? Tell me truly, I implore. Quote the raven nevermore. Uh, stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Don't know what to do. Two, three. Got two, three already here. Is it yin-yang? Yin, yin yang let's double click the colors and see if we can see so the blue the blue is perfect at the moment it is orthogonally connected so it's probably orange if it's anything orange is mostly connected we've got to connect these little threads i mean if that's orange that can't be one because this would be a complete orange thermo um, and this would these would have to be quite low digits but i think they can be i mean i might be wrong about that but they look like they could be could be one, could be something like one, one, three, four or five, I think. And then these would both be blue. That would be orange. I mean, it's quite forcing if that's orange. But if it's blue, then oh, it's still quite forcing. Oh, is that the point? Uh, no, it's not. I, I thought I could force these two squares, but actually I'm forcing them to be different colours. So that I don't think that works, what I was thinking then. Um, no, okay, I've got, to have an, I've got to have a more intelligent thought. Eight is in one of those squares. That could be minus, minus seven. It can't be six. Could it be five? Maybe, it's, maybe it is going to be a case of pencil marking the thermo. I think it could be 5. Could it be minus 4? Yeah, 
don't see why not. Could it be minus three? No, because then that would be a that would be a minus one or a minus two. Okay, so that's four, five, or seven. That's useless. That really is hopeless. So that's got to be lower than this. Okay, but it can't be one or two. But it could be three. It could be four. It can't be five. Could it be six? I think so might be wrong but I think seven six works on the thermometer minus seven is a lower number than minus six um, yeah see this 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 doesn't feel this has the feel like of, of what we were doing earlier which is not not grasping the real point of the puzzle unfortunately what about that digit that can't be that low can it if that because if that was four for example then there would be a two on this strip. So that digit has to be higher than four. So it's either five, six, or seven, I want to say. Now can we can we limit that at all? If it's five, this would have to be four, three, one. But I think it can be. Is there something going on in this column? Yes, good grief. Okay, where's nine in this column? It's not there. It's not here because it's cold. So nine has only got one position. Wow, so that's seven, which places a seven in box. Oh, this is doing some things. It's placed seven here. It means this square is a six which means six, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything, I don't think. Oh, bother it, put six, oh, ah, ah, no, it has done something. Right, it's put six on this thermo, but that's that's a maximum of five, so there must be a cold digit here, otherwise this thermo does, definitely doesn't work. So, so the bulb, must be cold because either if the six is here then that's a cold bulb if the six is here it's that's cold so the bulb is always cold there we go there we go now we've got to get these these threads of hotness out to connect can't have a checkerboard so that's got to be hot has this done something useful it might have done i'm not sure <laughs> not sure it's quite exciting though. That, oh yeah, 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 look, that's a hot bulb. So that's hot. And now these two are both cold to avoid two by twos. And that must avoid a checkerboard. And that avoids two by two. And now I've got a two by two possibility here. So that's cold. And, and this has to get out. Oh, this is so good. Right, so we've done the, we've done the coloring out of nowhere that was very very nice very nice now okay so if this was yeah that can't be minus six because that needs to be more minus than seven eight and nine have gone so that's six which places two in the box which puts two into one of those squares that can't be on the tip of the thermix that would have to be a one so that's two that's seven apparently using pencil marking um one what do i need in this column one three and something my scanning is letting me down one three and nine well that's one or three it's not six this is one th oh hang on i want to do that pencil marking so that's not one and that's not three and we got a chocolate teapot triple which is very frustrating do i really get that can i not do better I probably can, I just can't see how. Um, bobbins. <laughs> oh no. Uh, and whatever that is, it, this is this is this is always higher because it's a hot digit. So it doesn't matter if this is one, it's definitely gonna be higher than that digit. That's frustrating. Okay. So what how do we do this then? Nine has to be in one of those squares. Nine is definitely in one of these two squares. 
I think I've just got to use what we've just found out a bit better. We got all of the colouring done. Hmm. Six now. Yeah, where is six? Six is down here somewhere in box eight, and six is on this thermometer. But if six is if this is minus six, that needs to be minus seven, eight, or nine. So we get six on the bulb here, which I oh know it doesn't. I thought that was going to do things. Again, I thought it was going to do things, and it failed me. Two. This two means I've got a two in one of. Oh, I've got a two exactly there in box four, which places nine, which means I get the nine over on the other side. So this is a one eight pair. Whoa, one eight pair. Let's put that in. Um, which means I need that to be a four or a five at the bottom. And. Can we do stuff with this? Maybe this is minus six, so that can be this could be anything one, three, four, or five, and it can be all of those digits one, three, four, five. I don't believe it, and that is why I fail. <laughs> um, oh no, okay. It feels a bit a bit like I've got trapped in in a Sudoku vortex though now. I have to say. I feel like a, I feel like we're not that far away from finishing this. I just have to have the right thought. Oh no. Although that that thought I just had doesn't doesn't work. Um I know Oh, hang on. That's not six anymore. So I know six is a negative six is on the bottom of this thermometer. So that's got to be more negative and that's got to be seven. Gosh, it's not that easy. This is it now that's four or five. So that's got to be less negative than that. So that can no longer be six. <laughs> so the six in column four, believe it or not, has to go at the bottom now by Sudoku. And this square here is a four or a five, which means that square there is a three. So that's not a three over on this side. That's negative four or five. So this needs to be a lower number. It's not one, two or three. So that can only be four. Good grief. So four, five, four go into the grid. That's not four over on this side. Um, We've got five, six. Oh no, hang on, that's a six. I hadn't seen that before. So that's six, that's five, that's four, that's six. This is a seven, nine pair, which we can do for once. Seven and nine go into the grid. Three goes here. Now that's nice. So that gives me one, nine. We can take one out of all of these squares. This is a one, five pair, which I can do. Come on. That's not five, so this is three or four, it's not four. So that's three, four, three, five. So this is one, four, one, eight, eight. Okay, this is five, six, seven. The seven is placed. Seven, five, six. Is that thermometer working? It seems to be. What do we need? We need one and four at the bottom. Okay, we well, need to think of if that's four, that's five. Oh, it can be. <laughs> you rotten thing. Three five this is. Oh no, it's possible. Okay, that can't be a three anymore, which is good. So the three in the corner possibility is still alive and well. Uh, five comes out of this square. And this is a one, three, four triple. So that's a five. So that's a five. Oh no, bobbins. Okay, we haven't got a three in the corner because I've just found a three here. Oh, this is a naked single. That is the three. Oh, now I've got a deadly pattern. Oh, but it's going to be resolved, is it? It is. It is. This thermo has to go. Well, it has to go to one, not four. Otherwise, it's going the wrong way round. So that does a deadly pattern. And the puzzle's finished. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's a fantastic puzzle. It wasn't as easy as I thought. Um, although that might be because there was some 
particularly unpleasant Sudoku to do in the Sudoku puzzle, um, which which completely confounded me when I was all into the yin yang and the weird thermometer logic. Uh, but oh, what a puzzle! Just fantastic! Just a really really fantastic debut for Pack Attack Twenty Five. Um, subsequent puzzle for Schwupel. The two of them together are a force to be reckoned with, and that rule set has legs. I think. Wow. Let me know in the comments how you got on with the puzzle. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.